Hey everyone, Rick from Rick's RC and more. Started on part two of uh, the Lego Camaro build. I just finished uh, bag five. So uh, at this point, you can start putting some stickers on this guy. A little sticker on the air cleaner. Valve covers, they got a rad hose there. They got kind of a little mock-up rad. Um, you know, pulley for your alternator it actually spins so yeah it's definitely starting to look like a Camaro so uh, we're gonna continue on and get on to bag six and uh, see what it looks like uh, once we're done bag six all right so we just finished up bag six uh, really starting to come out and it's really start to look like a car uh, this is where you got to start making some decisions. Um, I went with the Louver style headlights because I actually have a, a die cast of a very similar car, only non-convertible, that has the, uh, the round headlights. So I went with the Louvers. Get your balance down there. You also have to choose the color between your, um, for your pinstripes, your racing stripes. Um, I'm going to go with the... I, not really silver, more gray, but uh, your choices are white, um, the color of the material, this maroon color, or um, this. So the other one I have has white racing stripes. So I'm going with the uh, the gray. So uh, here are the instructions you can see. You're gonna have quite a few parts left over with this bag because you use more parts for the round headlights as opposed to the, the louvered headlights, which is just two parts for each light and you can see this one here is a lot more um it's even got uh you can see the, the engine bay here they got the inner fenders they got kind of a rad uh rad or fan uh, shroud with a caution sticker on it and uh another cool thing it's uh actually has exhaust pipes and your license plate um it comes with a yellow and a black uh, plate for you to put the sticker on. Um, I got the Chevy 69 uh, Michigan one on there, but there's also a, uh, a black one that's, uh, it's like it says Panther, um, but um, spelt out with uh, some uh, numbers for letters. So yeah, we're gonna go on to, uh, we're gonna go on to bag seven. All right, so we finished up bag seven. Um, a lot of it was uh, some interior work, uh, which is really cool that the seats are, are two-toned and um, they even have uh, some ribbing on them there. When you're putting the seats together, just so you know, these blocks here, the uh, the opposite side of these blocks, those uh, little engravings that uh, lines run the opposite way. So when you're putting it together, make sure you got them all going the same way or it's going to look a little funny when you're done. Gives you a little magazine model team magazine sticker to put on that and put in the back seat so i think that's supposed to be uh that's supposed to be a nickel <laughs> i think that's what that uh five is on there for but uh opening doors seats tilt forward your hood pops open pretty neat so this is now, I'm at the step now, bag eight, where you have to choose between roof up or roof down. Um, I don't think this is supposed to, I think it's a convertible roof up because uh, it doesn't really resemble a, a hard top. I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the roof down. So I have, Just go to my case here. I have this guy here, which is the hard top with the white racing stripes. And it's got the round headlights. It's also got the uh, sticker for the 302 motor in it. So uh, I'm gonna kind of go the other way with this one. That's why I didn't want to do white racing stripes. I want the gray. I didn't really want the interior color for the racing stripes on it either. And uh, yeah, I think I'll go convertible down and uh, roll roof down. All right, so 
number eight is the final bag. We're gonna uh, we're gonna start on that. All right, so bag eight uh, complete. Here's the uh, completed car. It uh, actually rolls not bad. Uh, steering wheel does operate the steering. The uh, seats fold forward. You know your doors. Your doors open up. Trunk lid opens up. And your hood opens up. So I did, uh, I built what I could of, of the roof and the back window. Um, I, d I think that is supposed to be like a hard top version. It's just, it, it's hard to tell, but uh, the rear view mirror on it hangs off the ceiling and it comes with, the, these are supposed to be uh, fuzzy dice, I believe. <laughs> Hanging off of it. So I don't know, I might, uh, it wouldn't, it doesn't seem like it'd be too much of a hassle to uh, change it over to the hard top if you wanted to. Um, just a matter of removing this part and uh, adding in adding in these guys. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a neat kit. It's uh, It's got some weight to it. Look at it from a distance. You would, uh, you know, you would never really notice that was a a Lego kit. <laughs> so yeah, it's a uh, it's bigger than one eighteenth scale, I'd say. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily one tenth scale or not. Maybe maybe something in between one fourteen. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there is a couple of Lego tops still there. I don't know why they wouldn't have you. Uh, Why they have that exposed but uh same with the front here i i this was an extra piece that i stuck on just take it off Ooh. so they have it finished with that with the two even in the box it shows it with that so i just uh this was just an extra piece and i just kind of slapped it on there just to kind of give it a little smoother look But yeah, it's uh, definitely, uh, so it took me two days. Um, I don't know, like I said, roughly an hour a bag. So it's, like I said, it's probably an eight hour. If you were to, you could definitely build it in one day, no problem. There's not a whole lot of stickers to go on under anything. So I know, uh, <clears throat> I know I said I'd probably get a video out, uh, with the uh, Proline foams, putting them into the uh, the SEX6 first, but uh, I kind of got into this. The weather here, it rained for like a week straight here. We haven't seen any sun in a while, so uh, I've just kind of been looking for something to do inside the house. That'll be a cool, uh, cool thing to display. All right, so for now, everybody get out and enjoy your RCs.